I had absolutely no idea we were gonna find a coffee shop like that here in Vietnam, in the province, but it's amazing what you can find when you ask around. So another interesting point about the coffee shops here, almost all the milk in Vietnam comes from Da Lat, and that was pretty cool, I enjoyed that. Up next, we're gonna have our breakfast slash lunch, brunch, da. Also, the plan for today is once again, we're just gonna go around and try out all the recommendations of the baristas I've talked to. Almost every single place I go to here in Dalat was recommended by a barista in a coffee shop that I visited. How did you find the coffee shop, Bones? Oh, I super love their Ethiopia. It was so clean and so yummy. And it was a really, really cute coffee shop. Parang bahay. Nicest coffee shop we've been to here. Mm. But a lot of the coffee shops have good coffee. I don't think we've had bad coffee yet. Good job, Vietnam. I'm losing control My body, my soul, your soul Okay, spicy? Yeah. Spicy. Hola, we made it. Yes, and this shop was recommended by one of the baristas that we met. Yeah, and as usual, we're gonna butcher some of the names now. What's the name of this place? This name, this place is called M Oi. M Oi. M Oi. M Oi Alita Han. Oh, I didn't even memorize that. Yeah, and it's literally just a resto on the side of the road. A place we would never find otherwise, no? Okay, I'm excited. I also pointed at the table next next to us and said, I want that. Yeah, so basically in a place like this, when you don't know how to order, you have two options. Look at the table beside you and point. Or, if there are pictures, you look at the pictures and point. <laughs> Just one? Oh. Hold my glasses while I eat. Wow. Oh, someone's enjoying the rolls. This is like a ginataan, right? Uh. Mm. Mm -hmm. So how do you like the Vietnam food? I wanna live here. Really? I'm kidding. No. I don't mind staying here for a while though. And it's a lot lighter, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The soup. It's not like uh, the Taiwan beef noodle soup. Oh, that was heavy, but every time Or I the eat, Japanese ramen, those every, are heavy. Every time I eat pho, I still feel light. Kofo. Hey Bones, what's happening at the moment? Our cab dropped us off and now we have to walk to the coffee shop. What is this coffee shop? It's called Robinson Coffee and Tea and it's a place only the locals know about. Correction, it's a place not even the locals know about. It's so inside the smaller roads that the cab can't even come in so we're just gonna walk it pretty much in the middle of nowhere but this is what's cool about it hopefully it's a really nice place and hopefully it's open usually these things are super scary because sometimes they're all of a sudden not open let's adventure there are two roads we can pass this one or that one okay let's take this nice scary one okay you Go. always like scary mm -hmm. lola bones it's so steep my hand. Hold me hand. Where are you taking me? What happened? Oh, 
Bones took us the wrong way. Excuse me, you chose that path. <laughs> Excuse me. We're not going the way that I told Mikael we should have gone in the first place. Let's see this one. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, are the dogs okay? So many dogs. <laughs> nice but scary. Absolutely impossible to find on our own. No way. Oh, oh, oh. They said a dream is just a dream, but promise me. Oh, this place is so nice. You won't forget to dream me up who we're supposed to be. The world's gone dark, but I want you to be like. Let's go to the stars and you'll find me. Dreaming a little bit bigger. favorite part of the trip so far? My favorite part is this. Okay, aside from this, what do you like about Dalat? Mm, I like the weather. The weather makes a big difference in going around because you don't get sweaty, you don't get as tired too easily. And my favorite part of Dalat is actually the price. The most expensive meal we've had here was 500 pesos, actually 485 pesos, and that was for three people that include appetizer, main, and dessert. Yeah. Not bad. What? Not bad. That was oh, amazing. freaking amazing. <laughs> Very not bad. Very not bad. <laughs> Usually when I'm on a work trip, I just stay at the hotel or kind of visit a coffee shop or two. But, but because I'm here, Madame Bones is exploring. I'm more adventurous. But I think what also helped is that we asked the baristas their favorite places or like little coffee shops that we could go to. And this was recommended by that guy at Bruin Barista. Bruin I think if people want a really relaxing trip, this is a place that they can go to. And it's easy to go to. It's a two hour flight to Saigon. Yeah. I mean to Ho Chi Minh. Yeah. And then a one hour, 50 minute flight from Ho Chi Minh to Dalat. I think we found a bunk bed. Check it out, bunk. These are the stairs. Oh. Cool. This bunk bed here. This is a really, really nice house. Very thoughtfully made. Can you honestly tell me that this view is not amazing? This is my last few hours here in Dalat, Vietnam. I think our next leg is gonna be just as amazing. So we're headed to Tokyo for an anime convention. That's gonna be super fun. I'll explain in the next vlog. See ya. So I thought my adventures for the day were done. Apparently not. So I went out while Megan is doing her makeup and getting ready for work. I said I was gonna get her a snack called Ban Kang. And the place I went to was just extremely full. Okay, but my taxi driver showed me another spot. We're getting some snacks. Okay, so my taxi driver is right here behind me. And we've been living on the Google Translate app. So I tell them exactly what I need and it's amazing. So I got Ban Kang. I got one order for myself, one order for Megan, and we're in business. Oh. There you are. Darling. They said a 
They said a dream is just a dream, but promise me You won't forget to dream me up what we're supposed to be The world's gone dark, Bye bye! Come on! We got it, we got it! I would have never gotten to this place without the help of my driver, thank God for him. This was the last thing on my Vietnam Dalat bucket list. I really just wanted to try this out. I heard it was super good. I mean, it's like eggs and veggies mashed together. <sighs> okay. Check it out. Ban Thang. Went all around Dalat just for this. And they have a meatball something sauce. By the way, I'm having fun. Mm. Let's try the meatball. Mm. Mm. This one is... Whoops. This is like the pita bread looking thing they were making. So this is me enjoying my food. That's Bonizi trying to get ready. They're super rushing because they have like 10 minutes to finish. Hi, Bones. So let's do it.